Welcome to yet another video of Compare Nation. Today we are going to look at Indian ports. India as a country has a great potential overall. One of that potential is our coastline. Our coastlines are spanning 7516 kilometers forming one of the biggest peninsula in the world. Indian coastline offers a natural harbor which helps in promoting marine time trade, helped in forming sea routes for trade. so economy got better even if you look at indian history lot of traders traditionally historically has arrived in india through sea and that's what the geographical advantage india has because of its coastline the formulation and administration of the rules and regulation and the laws relating to ports shipping and waterways is done by ministry of ports shipping and waterways According to the Ministry of Ports, Shipping and Waterways, around 95% of India's trading by volume and 68% by value is done through marine time transport. India has 13 major ports, 205 notified minor ports and intermediate ports. Six new mega ports are to be developed under Sagar Mala project. It is serviced by 13 major ports that is 12 government owned and one private and 187 notified minor and intermediate ports. The total 200 major and non-major ports are present in following states that is Maharashtra, Gujarat, Kerala, Tamil Nadu, Karnataka and some of the other states. Port Blair which was notified as a major port in 2010 was removed of its status recently. Government of India planned to modernize these ports and associated infrastructure to through the 2015 established Sagar Mala project and national marine time development program. JNPT that is Jawaharlal Nehru Port Trust won the award for the best port in India the third time in a row in the Atal Shastra Mekan Mami Award in 2020. Marine transport in India is controlled and administered by the state and central government. While shipping is managed by by the shipping ministry manages the major ports and the intermediate and the minor ports are administered by the state government, which is the port is located. To foster the growth and development of all major ports. which are under supervisory control of ministry of ports shipping and waterways the indian ports association ipa was constituted in 1966 under societies registration act now let's look at the ship ship breaking industry in india as of january 2020 india has 13% share of a ship breaking with annual revenue of 1.1 billion us dollar india is a signatory to the hong kong international convention for the safe and environmentally sound recycling of ships india plans to pass the recycling of ships act 2019 to rectify the hong kong treaty this will allow india to capture its targeted 60% global ship breaking business while doubling the annual to us 2.3 billion dollar target india the along so associa ship breaking yard is world's largest shipping graveyard other ship graveyards in india is the steel industries of kerala limited breaking unit now let's look at what's the market size of this industry india's key ports had a capacity of 1598 million tons per annum in financial year 22 from april to october 22 all the key ports in india handled 446.50 million tons of cargo traffic india's merchandise exports in financial year 22 were at us 417.8 billion up to 40% from its previous year in financial year 23 that is until september 22 the merchandise export reached us 231.88 billion us dollar The government has taken several measures to improve operational efficiency through the mechanization and deepening the draft and the speedy evacuations. On this screen what you are seeing is basically a cargo traffic at major ports in financial year 2022 and you can see how we are doing so far. Now some of the major recent developments in this industry which impacts India positively are as follows. India has a plans to invest US 82 billion in port projects by 2035. Indian ports received a cumulative FDI inflow worth US 1.63 billion between April 
April 2000 to June 2021. In October 21, the Syama Prasad Mukherjee Port in Calcutta gave importers the opportunity to bring in vessels at the deep drafted anchors located at Sagar, Sandeshan, and X Point. In October 2021, Adani Group announced that it want to make Adani Port a net zero carbon emitter by 2025 and power all its data center with renewable energy by 2030. Jawaharlal Nehru Port Trust that is JNPT Special Economic Zone SZ become the first of its kind operational port based multi product SZ in India the competition the commission of india cci approved adani ports and special economic zones proposed acquisition of 10.4% equity in investment in gangavaram port in september 2021 the 10.4 equity share holding will be bought from the government of andhra pradesh now we don't know with the latest development with adani corporation what will happen to this project but we are hoping it will go ahead the adani ports and special economic zone plans to become the world's largest private port company by 2030 and carbon neutral by 2025 now again this plan we need to wait and watch after the latest development with adani corporations what's the road ahead for this industry in india increasing investment and cargo traffic point towards healthy outlook for indian port sector providers of services such as operations maintenance pilotage harboring and marine assets such as barges and degraders are benefiting from these investments the capacity additions at the ports is expected to grow at a cagr of 5 to 6% till 2022 thereby adding 275 to 325 metric ton of capacity domestic waterways have found to be the cost effective and environmentally sustainable mode of freight transportation the government aims to operationalize 23 waterways by 2030 As a part of Sagarmala project more than 574 projects worth rupees 6 lakh crore that is US 82 billion dollars have been planned to implementation between 2015 and 2035 in marine time India summit 2021 the ministry of ports shipping and waterways identified a total of 400 projects worth 2.25 lakh crore investment potential India's cargo traffic handled by ports is expected to reach 1695 million metric tons by 2021-2022 according to reports by National Transport Development Policy Committee. So overall outlook for this industry looks great because the geographically India is located at a very vital position where the lot of lot of cargo lot of freight goes through this sea routes. So if you are an investor invest in the companies which are into ports or which are into the ecosystem of the ports because next 10 years is going to be crucial and next 10 year you will see immense growth in this industry in india and the sagarmala project will actually transform how the ports and and the waterways and the freight cargo transportation takes place in from and to india Thank you very much for watching this video till the end if you like the content please like this video and subscribe our channel thank you